Hello everyone, surely you have enjoyed delicious dishes made from salmon meat, but you have not yet caught those salmon, today follow me, I will take you there. Sports fishermen catch these salmon with traps, let's go. A fish trap is a type of trap used to catch fish and other valuable aquatic animals. Fish traps include fish weirs, cage traps, fish wheels and some fishing net rigs such as fight nets. The use of traps is culturally almost universal and appears to have been invented independently many times. There are two main types of traps, a fixed or semi-permanent structure placed in a river or tidal zone and a bottle or pot trap that usually, but not always, has bait to attract the prey and be lifted off the surface. Water periodically. A typical modern trap consists of a heart-shaped frame of thick wire mesh, with wire mesh stretched around it. The mesh wraps around the frame and then tapers inside the trap. Fish swimming inside through this hole cannot escape because the wire mesh hole bends back to its original narrowness. In earlier times, traps were made of wood and fiber. Fish traps contribute to the problem of marine litter and bycatch. Eel traps in England, 1899, by Miles Burkett Foster The Mediterranean Sea has been described as the largest fish trap in the world. Traps are almost culturally ubiquitous and appear to have been invented independently many times. There are basically two types of traps, a fixed or semi-permanent structure placed in a river or tidal zone and a bottle or pot trap that usually, but not always, has bait to attract the prey and be lifted out from the water periodically. The Mediterranean Sea, with an area of about 2.5 million square kilometers, 970,000 square miles, is shaped according to the principle of a bottle trap. Fish from the Atlantic Ocean easily swim into the Mediterranean through the narrow strait in Gibraltar, and have difficulty finding their way out. It is described as, the world's largest fish trap. The prehistoric Yahan people who inhabited the Tierra del Fuego area built stone structures in shallow bays that were effective in restricting fish at low tide levels. Some of these extant stone structures still exist in Bahia Wulaya at the Bahia Wulaya Dome Middens archaeological site.
In southern Italy, during the 17th century, a new fishing technique began to be used. Trabuco is an old fishing machine typical of the Gargano coast protected as a historical monument by the national park of the same name. This giant trap, built of structural timber, is spread along the southern Adriatic coast, especially in the province of Foggia, in some areas of the Abruzzese coast and also in some regions of the southern coast. Southern Tyrrhenian Sea The still-by tidal fish trap is an ancient mid-tidal rock wall fish trap that occurs at various locations on the western Cape coast of South Africa from Gansby to Mosselby. The existing fish traps that are still visible were built over the past 300 years, some were only built in the late 20th century, while others may date back as far as 3,000 years ago. Fish trap, Roman period, found in Valkenburg, Netherlands. Indigenous Australians, before European conquest, were most numerous in Australia's more water-rich areas such as the Murray-Darling River system in the southeast. Here, where water levels changed with the seasons, they built ingenious stone fish traps. Sick. most were completely or partially destroyed. The largest and most famous traps are those on the Barwon River at Brewarrina, New South Wales, which are at least partially preserved. 7. Brewarrina fish traps caught large numbers of migrating native fish when the Barwon River level rose during floods and then fell. In southern Victoria, such as at Budge Bim, now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, 8. Indigenous people created a complex system of canals, some more than 2 kilometers long. The purpose of these canals is to attract and catch eels, a fish species found in short coastal rivers, as distinct from the rivers of the Murray-Darling system. Eels are caught in a variety of traps, including stone walls built over canals with a net placed over a hole in the wall. Traps at different levels in the marsh are activated as water levels rise and fall. The traps at Budge Bim are considered an indigenous form of aquaculture dating back at least 6,600 years, older than the Giza pyramids, with the Muldoon trap system considered the oldest stone-walled fish trap world and is the longest used fish trap in the world. Similar stone wall traps were built by the Pitt River Indians of northeastern California. In South Australia, the Bangala people of the Eyre Peninsula combined the use of fish traps with singing to call sharks and dolphins to chase fish into fish traps, where the Bangala people would appear to spear and throw stones at the fish.
Quote, the Barker Dwarfs use a technique called weir fishing. This technique involves building a temporary dam that causes water levels downstream, allowing for easy fishing. Also used in Chile, mainly in Chiloe, where fish and fish traps are abundant. How fish traps are used depends on local conditions and the behavior of local fish. For example, fish traps can be placed in use shallow water near rocks where pike like to lie. If placed correctly, traps can be highly effective. Daily checks are usually not necessary because the fish remain alive inside the trap, relatively undamaged. For this reason, traps also allow for the release of smaller fish in accordance with fishing regulations. A federal report says fish traps contribute to the problem of marine litter unless they are implemented by analyzing biological materials. For example, fishermen lost 31,600 crab traps in Bristol Bay, Alaska, within two years. According to a government report, every year, fisheries in the Chesapeake Bay, northeastern United States, lose or abandon 12 to 20 percent of the crab traps. These hunted things continue to be sought after. 15. Fish traps can also trap protected insects such as ducks in Australia. In 2017, research was reported on the suitability of using fishing traps to catch Atlantic cod. This popular commercial fish stock is recovering after a major occupational downturn. The use of properly designed traps may have less environmental impact than other fishing strategies, but to be practical, they need to catch the target efficiently and selectively. Bottle traps are also called contents. This type of trap can be moved and used to catch small fish and other small glass animals. It consists of a container shaped like a bottle, often with an inverted overhang at the entrance. It can be crafted from a plastic bottle, or a glass vase or terracotta pot, or woven from string or linen. The trap enters the water in a straight line, where it is placed on the bottom or suspended at any depth below the surface. Bait is often, but not always, used to try to use inside. Variations of this trap facility have been used since ancient times in countries around the world. Bubo, also spelled bubu or bobo, literally meaning stupid, is a traditional Philippine fish trap used to catch fish in shallow terrain by way of coral reefs.
They are usually box or dome shaped and made from strips of bamboo or rattan woven into a hexagonal shape. They vary in size and shape depending on the local terrain and travel conditions where they are used. We have an error that expands on one end shrinking to the opposite one. They are used with or without a target and have a weight or rock inside. They were placed on site and then collected. Traditionally, they cannot be marked with firecrackers to avoid being stolen by other thieves. Their location is remembered through the shorelines. Different types of traps are optionally used depending on the region, target type, and underwater terrain. Typically, they are made in the form of wire cages, as shown in the illustration. Traditionally, eel traps are very popular and have been invented independently around the world. The Maori people of New Zealand weaved intricate eel jars they called hinaki from climbing plant stems. At their best, they are works of art. The net is made from a network of pockets held open by loops. They can be connected together into long chains and used to catch eels in rivers. The fight net equipped with wings and ties is used in protected places in the lake where there are many plants. Hundreds of these networks can be connected to systems but are not possible when building large permanent structures. Katiska is a type of fish trap used in Finland. It is lightweight and made from steel. Traps can be collapsible or rigid, and are easy to set at any depth because they are not needed. Katiska are often used in recreational fishing because they only yield small amounts of fish. The photo found a fisherman examining a katiska. A lobster trap is a type of portable trap used to trap shrimp or crayfish. An opening allows the shrimp to enter the tunnel network. Shrimp traps are usually made of two parts from wire and wood. The lobster enters the first part, called the chamber, or stove, where the bait is. It then moves into the living room, where it is trapped. Shrimp traps can contain many lobsters. They are usually dropped to the bottom of the sea one at a time and marked with artillery so they can shorten the time. In Japan, the Mediterranean and other regions, people use an ancient variation to catch octopuses. 
they are often heavy earthenware pots with no pass. These traps will be left on the seabed for days at a time. The octopus gets in and stays inside, using the square as shelter and protection. Do not use target. When the vase is raised, the white filter will usually not try to escape. In Haiko, China, locals make bottle traps using small glass filters. Local craftsmen produce a product that can be made from 2 liter soda bottles. This type is created upside down by cutting the top of the bottle a few centimeters down the neck and cutting it lengthwise down. This creates tabs that are then inserted inside, creating the inverted image. A stone is attached to the wall of the bottle and provides some metering wire. Many holes drill through the bottle so water can enter and exit. This stuff is sold on the seaside for 6 yuan, along with a small bag of powder for shooting. Salam Law is an advanced network type that operates widely in use in the Philippines. It consists of a raft of tower structure with the necessary mechanism attached to two horizontal bars with a large square net in the middle. They are lowered and raised every few minutes to catch fish. We can use electric lights to attract fish at night. There are many variations of the Salam Law in the Philippines. A small handheld variation used for catching crabs is called the bintol. The deep water species used to catch nautiluses are called panak. The fixed variables on the shore are called 